This is STEM thing to talk about on simple wave calculations. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate things such as the speed of a wave, wavelength of a wave, or the frequency of a wave. And these are all important things to be able to calculate when it comes to calculating the characteristics of a sound wave. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is if we have this formula. So this is our formula that we use for calculating speed of a wave. We take the wavelength and we multiply it by the frequency. And a wavelength is going to be when you have a full compression and rarefaction in a wave and or where you go from one identical point in a wave to the next identical point. Frequency is going to be how many wavelengths you have in a particular spot. It could be something like a high frequency or it could be something like a low frequency. Now, this is one formula. So this is a formula that you might be given. Now, we can actually rearrange this formula in order to figure out how to calculate things such as wavelength or frequency. So if we rearrange this formula, we would have to divide over here the frequency. We'd have to divide that into speed. So if we were to figure out the wavelength formula, <clears throat> the wavelength formula would be wavelength. Is equal to the speed divided by the frequency of the wave. Okay, so now we've got wavelength is equal to speed divided by frequency. And we can do a similar thing in order to figure out what the frequency formula is. The frequency formula would be frequency is equal to speed divided by wavelength. So these are the three formulas that we'll use in order to fill in the blanks in the next data table. Um, but just as a reminder, before we move on, let's just go over the units that we'll be using. So for speed, our units here are going to be meters per second. For wavelength, our units are going to be meters. And for frequency, this is a new unit that you probably haven't heard of too much. This is going to be hertz. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the table that we're going to have to solve. And we'll keep the formulas here okay, as This well. is a chart that we have to try to figure out. Um, you'll notice that it's giving us different mediums, such as water, air, and it's showing us various wavelengths, frequency, and speed, but we have some blanks that we need to figure out. So this first one that we're going to look at is we're going to be looking at the wavelength here. So I like to circle what we're actually trying to solve for. I'm going to do this one in orange. Okay, so we are trying to solve for the wavelength of um, sound in water. Okay, so if we're looking for wavelength, we're going to use our wavelength formula, which is right here for us. Okay, and you can abbreviate. I like to write out the full formula. Um, in science, we like to um, abbreviate wavelength with a lambda, um, which is a Greek letter. It kind of looks like an upside down Y. Then um, that lambda is going to be equal to speed divided by frequency. So if we plug in those values, we've got our speed up here, which is 1500 meters per second. And our hertz, which is up here, is 200 hertz. Okay, if we plug that in and we plug that into our calculator, um, notice we don't have any naked numbers here. They all have units. Our final answer is going to come to 7.5 meters. Okay, because again, our units for wavelength are meters. So then we can plug that into our table. Next one, I guess I'll do in this purple color, or pink, okay? So here, what I'm going to be trying to solve for is I'm going to be trying to solve for speed. So I'm going to write down my speed formula. So I'm going to write my speed formula here. So 
like I have up here, this is my speed formula. Okay, so I'm going to have S is equal to my wavelength, which we said is that weird lambda. Um, and I'm going to multiply that by the frequency, which I'm going to represent with F. So if I substitute into this formula, I have my wavelength as 3.75 meters. And I'm going to multiply that by 400 hertz. So if I go to do this right now, I do 3.75 meters times 400 hertz. And that's going to give me the speed of... 1500 meters per second. Okay, so then I would fill that in here. Fifteen hundred meters per second. Okay, now you might notice that if we take a look at both our waters, the speeds end up being exactly the same, which is kind of interesting, which shows you how um, the speed of sound is going to be influenced by the medium in which the vibrations or waves are occurring. So we're going to do one last one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the calculation here. Uh, we'll do it in blue for frequency just because we haven't done one for frequency. And then I'll let you do the last one on your own. So here I'm looking for frequency. So I'm going to use this formula up here. So I'm going to use F for frequency is equal to speed divided by lambda, our wavelength. So if I go to substitute in, I've got my speed over here, which is 343 meters per second. Okay, and this is for air as a medium. And we're going to divide that by 10 meters. Okay, don't even need a calculator for this one. Okay, this one's going to end up being 34.3 hertz, that weird unit that we had before. So then I fill it in. I've got 34.3 hertz.